Between the events of Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3, Woody and Bo Peep rescue Andy's remote control car, RC, from being washed away in a storm. Moments later, Bo Peep and her lamp are donated to a new owner. A distraught Woody tries to rescue her, but Bo refuses, having already accepted her fate as it is a part of a toy's life. Woody is tempted to go with her, but once he realizes that Andy still needs him, he decides to stay and shares a heartfelt goodbye with Bo. Nine years later, after a college-bound Andy has donated his toys to Bonnie, Woody struggles to adapt as the toys in Bonnie's room already have Dolly as their leader. Bonnie also shows little interest in playing with him. Woody still remains convinced Bonnie must need him, and sneaks into her backpack on her first day of kindergarten. When another child takes Bonnie's art supplies, Woody gathers objects from the trash and leaves them on Bonnie's table. Bonnie creates a doll from a spork and some other odds and ends, naming him Forky. Forky comes to life, but suffers an existential crisis, seeing himself as a disposable utensil, not a toy. As Forky quickly becomes Bonnie's new favorite toy, Woody repeatedly has to stop him from throwing himself away. When Bonnie's family goes on a road trip, Forky jumps out the window of the moving RV. Woody goes after him despite Buzz Lightyear's protests. As they walk to the RV park, Woody finally convinces Forky that his place is with Bonnie. As they pass an antique store's window, Woody recognizes Bo Peep's lamp, and detours inside to find her. They encounter a talking doll named Gabby Gabby and her ventriloquist dummy friends, who immediately try to take Woody's voice box to replace Gabby's broken one. Woody escapes the store, though Forky does not. At a playground, Woody reunites with Bo Peep and her sheep, who have deliberately become lost toys, free from any owners and able to do as they please, along with their new friend, a miniature police officer toy named Giggles McDimples. They agree to help Woody rescue Forky. Buzz, trying to find Woody, gets lost in a carnival and becomes a prize at a game, but escapes with plush toys Bunny and Ducky. They meet up with Woody and Bo, who leads them to a secret toy party inside a pinball machine, where they find Canadian stunt bike toy Duke Kaboom. They attempt to rescue Forky, who is actually enjoying himself and is in no danger, but fail both times. After McDimples is nearly killed by the store owner's cat, the toys argue about whether or not to go back. Woody, still desperate to be of some use to Bonnie, inadvertently insults Bo by saying loyalty is not something a lost toy can understand. He is left alone to attempt to rescue Forky, but when he confronts Gabby, she explains to him she has wanted a child's love for more than 60 years. Woody sympathizes and gives her his voice box. As Woody and Forky leave, they see Gabby callously rejected by Harmony, the store owner's granddaughter. Woody leaves Forky to go on alone and convinces Gabby to come back to Bonnie's house with him. Bo, Kaboom, McDimples, Bunny, and Ducky return, and help the pair escape to the fairgrounds. Jessie, after Forky informs her of the situation, rallies Bonnie's toys to take over the controls of the RV and drive it back to the fair. As Woody's group approaches the RV, Gabby notices a lost and crying little girl and stops to comfort her. The little girl is found by her parents and keeps Gabby as her toy. Woody and Bo Peep decide they must leave each other again. However, after realizing how Woody is unable to do so, Buzz convinces Woody that Bonnie is okay without him and that he is free to stay with Bo. Woody gives his badge to Jesse and becomes a lost toy along with Bo, her sheep, McDimples, Kaboom, Bunny, and Ducky. His longtime friends share an emotional goodbye with him and leave with Bonnie. 